We're all looking at the same thing. Thank you for joining us for another perspective from the Sag Nasty If Anybody Asked Me podcast. Don't forget to hit that like button and leave a comment. For more videos, please subscribe to the channel. But we instantly kind of looked down like, man, these poor dudes is on it. Because they said, you imagine, dudes, y'all was on the court hooping with. Y'all was just as big and tall as us, but y'all was younger. You see what I'm saying? And it's like, and smart kids, all y'all were very, very intelligent, smart kids. Athletic, y'all played multiple sports. You played guitar stuff, man. I used to mess dudes up. So, yeah. So that's the first memory. And then we jumped uh to high school real quick and we're going to go back again yeah. of course is that uh and here it is when i was a freshman i had the the blessing also to have you as a senior when i was a freshman yes sir and when we got into here it is like that was a whole new, like white pine was bad for us but we were running white pine but when we got into here it is they weren't expecting us to be who we were and uh, the I think it's the two years older than us. We're trying to roll us through trash cans and stuff. And again, it's like uh -huh. I ain't never been rolled in no trash can. No one even threatened me to be rolled in no trash can. Like, <laughs> and we're bigger than these guys. Hey, so right. they, put like, they put like twenty on us. They they surrounded twenty on us. And like me and Steven Stewart, was like I guess we gotta like have a war. Like we're not afraid, but like why are we about to get in a war at school? We're just trying to go to class. So we were a little right. thrown off. And they were like, you know, surrounding us and they didn't understand if you surround us, we're going to fight you. So again, it was going to be right. like that. Like, why are you flicking my ear? And then you get punched. <laughs> but suddenly you just hear this bark. And he's like, if anyone touches any of them, you done. It was like yeah. this presence. It was like Jay McBride, T, and like all this hovering over all of them. Don't touch them. And every, no yep. one messed with us again for freshman year again. No one even came close to us. It was just like one yeah. came right in there, just walked through there. I don't know what's going on, <laughs> but if you touch any of them, you are done. <laughs> yeah. Like, yes. Again, because validation. Like said, <laughs> right. Because like I said, we, we understood. We knew y'all. You know what I mean? It's like, think about how many hours we had spent in that White Pine gym hoping or out at Pheasant yeah, Run. Pheasant Run, yeah. Yeah. running around riding bikes by that time places. it was a long and, time know, yeah right and so when y'all got to school with us it was you see what i'm saying like it was kind of like hey man like they they ain't like the rest of these flunkies around here man no, like go pick on no. some of them other kids you see what i'm saying yeah. it's like these kids is because here was the thing man this is something that dude like i said it brings a it brings a smile to my face seeing you dino Stu, Steve, all chris all you boys man because Bro, we knew something was special about y'all group way before anybody you else. Always did. Said you it, see what you I'm you saying? Like, said it, yeah. and that, and that's I can say that, dude. I I I went all over this world, and I used to tell them dudes from overseas and special wow. operations about you kids, man, because wow. it, it was it wasn't so much just because like of the sports accolades and stuff like that. Like I always told them, I was like, man, these dudes was like well-rounded kids. Like, because mm -hmm. imagine, I grew up with y'all, man. I got to see y'all when y'all were little boys. You know what I mean? Little. It's like y'all were solid little dudes. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? It's like, and then it's like as y'all grew up, y'all just became. It was almost like it was watching y'all get better each year. Yeah, you see yep. what I'm saying? It was just kind of like, damn, these dudes, they they gonna be damn. They gonna probably <laughs> be better than us. You see yep. what I'm saying? Like seriously, yeah. because it was like it was. We thought we was, you know, on and popping, you know what I mean? Like, we thought we had our thing going. It's the 90s, you know what I mean? It's yeah, like right, right, right. But we instantly kind of looked down like, man, these little dudes is on it. Because they like said, you imagine, dude, y'all was on the court hooping with us. Y'all was just as big and tall as us, but y'all were younger. We're you younger. see what I'm saying? And it's like, yeah. and smart kids. All y'all was very, very intelligent, smart kids. Athletic. Y'all played multiple sports. Mm -hmm. You played guitar stuff, man. I used to mess dudes <laughs> up. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, though. and then yeah, they yeah. see you on the soccer field killing fools. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's like, and yeah. then at the same time, you go on the hoop court, you you dusting folks off, and oh, then you go man. on a track field, and I don't even need to. I, I, man, they yeah. see this is the real Usain Bolt people. They don't know about it. <laughs> His name is Daryl Slot. Just to throw that out there. Not, not, more not right. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah. But you yeah. know what I mean? It's like, think about that, bro. Like, yeah, y'all were, it was just like, it was the dynamic of y'all friendship, too, even with y'all group. You know what I mean? It's yep. like, and it, it, it reminded me. But we us modeled it like after us. you. Exactly. We were it, modeled it but, right after y'all. Because you guys went in three, like, main three, and we had our main three with the, like, you know, people on the yeah. outside. Yeah. 
Exactly, because right. you had like John Murray come in every now and then, and a few other people from the outside. But oh yeah, it was that that three core, and that's what we ran like you know like Naruto. Yep. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> because it, it it was it wasn't like it was alienating. Everybody had their no. like group. We still yeah. was a big group all together, but it's just group, like right. what we realized is it was you had to have like that solid foundation in that yep. each, like you said, in each level of those different groups, whether it was our age group, the kids under us, the ones that yep. was right above y'all, you guys underneath yep. the 200 because understanding that dynamic it kept you safe in Saginaw too bro. Yeah, oh man. let's be honest yeah. you yes. know what I mean like it, there was a there was a method to that madness man you know and it's mm -hmm. like that's where like you know you brought up that bus incident that's just that was a minor incident compared to some of the serious situations that that used to go on when we was growing up you know what I mean yeah. it's like I can't speak on it now you know what <laughs> I mean it's like when we was coming up woo you know what I mean it's like and so therefore you had to have one, two people kind of watching your back mm -hmm. and also two kind of guide you in the right direction because it's real easy in, in, around that place to go to the wrong direction. Oh, you know what man. I mean? Like you could turn a street or two or hang with the wrong person and boom, you, you're down mm -hmm. the wrong path. You, mm -hmm. Your dreams are shot. You know what I mean? No, it, man. It, we got many friends, many people we've seen that story happen to. Many. Some even made it to the top and we watched them come crashing down because of that simple philosophy. It goes we just back. Mentioned. It always goes back. Because we exactly. learned it at an early age as kids. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It's mm -hmm. like, it's it's something that was inbred into us in Saginaw. Hey, man, like, stick with your friends. Hey, look mm -hmm. out for each other. Hey, mm -hmm. hey, you two, all right, you two going out together? Because the parents wanted to see some of those familiar faces, too. Yeah. You know what I mean? Did. It's like, and it they was did, a good yeah. thing because they were able to see those kids' faces on a daily basis, whether it be outside playing, whether they was in the car getting rides, you know, they drive you back mm -hmm. and forth to sports. It, and it gave them a warm and fuzzy because they also knew the parents. You know, they yep. knew how that kid, you know, was when their parent was around and when that yep. parent was not around. And they felt safe having those kids around because, like I said, in Saginaw all together, you can't just trust anybody out there. You no, know, I would no. love to say that, but it's like, <laughs> come on, man. Like, you know, it was some folks that what didn't have your best interests at heart. Oh, you know, my and it's goodness, like, not at where, all. Like I said, having that core group of guys and then being able to, to pass that on to the next group to say, hey, man, like, you can do your thing. But just make sure y'all stay stay over here and y'all keep each other safe. You know what I mean? Because that was the blessing of our of neighborhood. Day, that was the blessing bro, of our neighborhood because we're in that corner. That corner is like yeah, you really couldn't go stuck. nowhere. So we just knew yeah. everyone, you know, it was nice. And that